Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you today. Got a quick tip for you. It's the end of the season. We're moving into winter. Things are starting to rest. Your compost is starting to build. And so I have a lot of folks, friends and close family like my Nana, who save a lot of things for me for the homestead. And this past week I had a lot of donations given to me. So I'm gonna show you some things that I think are really awesome for you to think about in terms of asking your non-homesteading friends to see if they would save some things for you or donate some things to you that are things that typically they are probably either going to recycle or throw away. And you know what? The thing is, is when you recycle it, it's gonna go even to a, a much higher purpose, right? On the homestead, it's gonna be the circle of life. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And you know, down below, I'm just gonna give a couple of quick ideas, things that I do. And I'm sure a lot of you out there have other things that you can talk about. Put it down in the comments below because again, it's where the it's where the action happens. Everybody loves to talk and and have community with each other, right? This homesteading community. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So this is what I'm talking about right here: pumpkins. This is just one of several things I'm gonna list for you. Things that folks that you know, be it your mom, your sister, your friend, your cousin, your nana. In my case, a lot of times it's nana or even my egg customers. They bring me stuff. They save stuff for me. And these are people that I know, people that I trust. That I, you know, I know what they use. And a lot of these folks obviously buy things from me, like my eggs or my canned goods or just whatever. So it's a really good mutual relationship. So I had some folks bring me some gorgeous pumpkins. So I'm going to feed these back to my chickens. It's a natural dewormer. Cochise is going to get this goodie right here. This is going to be gorgeous. Is that not beautiful? Is that not a gorgeous piece? That's like a piece of art right there. It's like a Van Gogh. But the, the whole notion and the whole point of this video is to show you items that people that do not homestead or that do not garden and they get these things every year or every season or a lot of times as down here, they get this stuff every day and they throw it away. You can use it. So let's let's talk about it, okay? So for example, my Nana is typically the one that gives me a lot of stuff, okay? So a lot of these things are no-brainers, okay? So if you have a wood stove like I do, <laughs> I need a lot of fire starters. And I love to get the toilet paper dispenser, you know, the little dispenser here, the, the cardboard rolls, or for your, um, you know, paper towels or whatever, and I put lint in them. So I'll take that from Nana. I know my Nana, I know her laundry's great. So I'll use this and these items and it's so simple cause she can just, hey, when you run out Nana, just put them in a little baggie and when I see you next week or next month, you can just give them to me. She does this uh, with these types of items and she uh, particularly does it with newspaper cause Nana still reads the newspaper every single day. So I get all of her newspapers, brown paper bags. When you're out, you're at the grocery store and you do get bags if you don't take your own or maybe you forget, get the brown paper bags. You can recycle them. You can use them as fire starters. You can certainly uh, use them in your compost, whatever you need to do. Okay. Nana is big on banana peels. Okay. This is my, this is my banana here, but you know, you can compost banana peels. You can put them around, cut them up real fine and put the peels around roses. It's really good. Um, and also I make my own natural fertilizer with banana peels. Yes, I know you're going to want organic. So, you know, you know the whole ordeal with that. For example, another example, if I'm selling all these eggs to people, guess what? I can use their eggshells if they're not. A lot of them like to use it in their own gardens because some of them do have gardens. But getting the eggshells back, I can, you know, I just bake them real quick and then I grind them up and give them back to my chickens or put them in, out in the ground with my tomato uh, plants and all of that. That works great. Coffee grounds. Go to a coffee house. Get used coffee grounds. Coffee grounds are everywhere, okay? And you can use them in your compost. You can use them to attract wonderful worms to your garden. It helps to just enrich the soil, all of these things. So think about that. And by the way, when they're used and they're like this, when they're used, they are neutralized. So that's good, okay? Um, pieces of cardboard. Right now with the holidays, people are getting boxes and there's all kinds of pieces of stray cardboard. I'm not seeing cardboard. I'm seeing the bottom of a nesting box if I use one of those little baskets. And I'm seeing, um, I always see nesting boxes and everything. And I'm seeing fire starter. Guys, all of these things, the thing is, is you think that all of these things, oh my gosh, a whole bag of this or a whole bag of that. I can burn through a whole bag of this or that or that in one day or in three days, depending on what's going on. These are very useful items on a homestead. Why do I have Cherry 7-Up? Because I'm recollecting two 
liter bottles for my aqua cones from gardenersupply.com. Gardeners, baby. This is what I use. So right now, everybody's going to holiday parties and at mammals and at the church functions, and we're bringing the sodas and the pop and whatever. Hey, every time you go, have somebody snag you two or three of these, and before you know it, you'll have 15, 20, 30 of them because you're going to need them for those aqua cones that you're picking up on for next season. Yes, shake your head. So guys, this is just some of the many things that you can do. Again, newspapers are big. Flyers are big. Anything, anything like that for fire starters or to recycle, to use in your Back to Eden garden if you want to play sit down. All of these things are very useful. Hope you like this video. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I'm getting pulled in 17 directions. One by a chicken, one by a cow, and one by a kid. I don't know where to go to first. <laughs> Welcome to my world. All right, guys. We uh, love bringing these videos to you. Hope you're having a great week. We'll talk to you soon, and y'all take care out there.